I was um, asked to be on the board of Bucknell and uh, about seven years ago. And the first conversation um, I had, I, I don't know what an artist can bring into a conversation well, among you know many CEOs and, and entrepreneurs. Um, but uh, I sat there at lunch um, and, and uh, surrounded by other board members. And they asked me, you know, we, we don't have artists on the board. So you, like, what do you think about our plan to build a art building, um, you know, $50 million art building on the hill? And, and they were expecting me to lead the effort. And I, I said, how many art measures do we have? You know, when I was here, it was like 10, you know, and then they actually, you know, staff went out and checked and, and there was like 27. And I said, so we're going to sequester 27 kids up on the hill in this fancy new building. That doesn't make sense to me. You know, we just voted to have a school of management. Why don't we put art and art history in there? Wouldn't that be amazing? You know, this integration of business and art that, that that doesn't exist in the world. And here's an opportunity that I saw, you know, maybe maybe just a portion of I was thinking that maybe the portion of art and art history can go in there to to connect the dots to create these intersection points. Well, there was a guy sitting across from me. I, I didn't know him. His name is Steve Holmes. And um, he heard that and he said, you know what, that makes total sense to me because I was an accounting major uh, at Bucknell. Um, but if you were to ask me, what was that one class that shaped how, how I do business? Uh, he said it was art history class that I took. Mm-hmm. 